Damn boy. Shit, you and your girl was going crazy last night, huh? What you mean? I was out of town last night. Out of town? Hey, that shit got nothing to do with me, fam. What you know about that? Now, now I don't know shit about that. I didn't need to learn how to mind my business, man. I shouldn't even see it, man. Sometimes I find myself saying a little too much. Mm -hmm. I ain't no snitch though, but it's been times where I thought I was giving a compliment and I might have hinted at some information that I shouldn't have. Because then it's like, how you know that? Who told you that? <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell y'all something, boy. Sometimes it's just good to say hi and bye. My pride and joy is my human spine collection. And in the US, there's no federal regulation. Lock his ass up. That right there is serial killer behavior. When we was younger, they said, Smoking weed is a gateway drug into other things. You collecting spines is a gateway drug and you killing mother But there should be, right? Like if you buy more than one of those and you're not a middle school, you should be looked at, at, at least like randomly visited, you know? The only acceptable way to do that is if it's Halloween and you're also a psychopath. I'm tired of buying these spines off of Amazon. Let me go extract one for real. I absolutely went into marriage knowing I was going to become a divorcee. There was no question in my mind. I knew at some point we would get divorced. The only... Yo, they be so proud to waste people's time. She's so proud that she wasted somebody's time. Question mark was when. I thought, you know, when I'm 40. Maybe I'd get that title. Maybe then I'd earn to, you know, 10 years down the track. Because I think 10 years in a marriage, that's a pretty good innings in this day and age. That's like a good run. <laughs> Turns out it's just a three. Uh, in the end, that's all we kind of uh, reached our limit with. But, you know, still got the title in the end. And obviously, I don't want to get married ever again. However, double divorce is a term that I'm living for. Like, that is cunt, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm a double divorcee. What? That's Slayana. Almost would be worth getting married again for. Um, but as I said, I'm not going to get married again unless it's someone with terrible health, um, no living other relatives, and a lot of money. <laughs> In which case, inquire within. The fact that people like this actually exist is troubling. Imagine your goal is to be divorced. So you going into a relationship, this man probably thinking he gonna spend the rest of his life with you and you sitting there with a time clock. Okay, it's time for me to start doing dumb shit so we can get divorced. Um, so I've never seen this before, but one of my pupils is legitimately huge. Am I actually tripping? Why the f does it look like that? Ma'am. Ma'am. If you did not recently see an optometrist where they specifically only dilated one eyeball. I am a medic in the military. Those are my credentials. They're not much. Please respectfully and with haste report to your local emergency room. Just just to see. Just to know. Don't Google nothing. Don't Google. Don't Google. Just go. Please. And then once again, respectfully. Thank you. So, I Googled it. I hope she's still alive. You do look a little older, but... How old are you again? 26. 26. You look older than 26, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. And over here, we got a pop. Your name and age? I'm John. I'm 27. Okay. Hi, John. And John, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I actually didn't think that you were indecisive or anything like that. I think, you know, maybe it might be the nerves or something. Why well, cuz out there looking like a vampire? Is it me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for me, it was like the lifestyle that you said you wanted to live, like the countryside, farm and all that. I've lived in the city my whole life. I'm not a country person. Like, I've tried it and I just wouldn't succeed in that. So just wanted to pop and not waste time. Okay, no problem. Yeah. And now, is he someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? He looks a little gay. Boom! Ain't no way. I 
I said he looked like a vampire. I ain't say I was not hinting at cross the street activities. I was not hinting at traffic infractions. I just said he looked like a vampire. He, you know, maybe that was the look he's going for. You know, they got the gothic stuff going on out here. This heifer. All right. <laughs> Okay. I mean, if you're not, it's okay, but... I mean, I'm here, right? Like... So to confirm, you like what? Like, yeah. He's on this lineup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I think, did we get a pop back here? Oh, yeah, we did. Let's head on back there. I think that, Arlette, you need to do a follow-up series where you bring these same women who are so critical of these men, bring up their ex-boyfriends. Have a reality show... So we can, you know what I'm saying, see they resume of the type of n they used to date. Because the way they come in this show talking, they must have been getting wood from the cream of the crop. Gonna call this man a batiman. Alright, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. That actually reminds me of one of my former classmates in high school. She was a uh, uh, one grade lower, but she had a uh, her 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 mom had gotten remarried, um, and her stepdad had a son, and they were married for a good minute. Unbeknownst to the stepmom and stepdad, she and her stepbrother had been doing the frufalu and getting jiggy with it um Truthfully. for for quite a while they ended up um after high school marrying getting married so mom and dad are married stepbrother and stepsister are married oh natalie 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 sweet home alabama I mean, let's switch it this way, right? If you met a chick, let's say y'all went to high school, and you been was spanking them cheeks, right? And for some strange reason, your mother and her father start dating. Is that automatically a Jerry Springer moment? Hey, what's on, baby? You fine, baby? You mine, baby? Hey, ain't that old girl that got the, um... Ain't that old girl that got the, the herp diddy herp that came out and exposed Gucci third leg? Am I tripping? She's like a princess, but it be gonna try you crazy. What, you from New Orleans or something? No, nah, I ain't from New Orleans. No? What's our baby doing now? What you fine, baby? <laughs> you What's, her you? Huh? What's her name? Huh? What's her name? The name. The name? That is her! Huh? Hubert. Nice that nice comes Hubert though for short fellas. <laughs> you fine, baby. I'm gonna use her phone number though. You talking about, oh yeah. You want to go? Yeah. You're talking about treating me like a princess. You might as well pay like for my stuff. Like a princess. Pay for your stuff? Yes. What you got? A little t-shirt? Something like that. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. Um, can I actually get the, the thing that I put to the side, sir? What'd you put to the side? Um, uh, a little carpet. Bro. Okay. okay. Whoa, what's that? Hold on, stop being thirsty, you married. Stop being thirsty, you married. I ain't know she was uh, packing like that. Yeah, I ain't know she had all that going on. Hey, Gucci! Gucci! Orlando? Orlando? Yeah. Uh, we can make magic then. Yeah? Like the nice. basketball team. <laughs> yeah, see? Magic. Yeah. Mr. Big I got her. See, I was going to do a little story about the herpes situation, but everybody in their mother covered it, so I'm not going to do that. But I know a lot of my subscribers are older, and y'all probably have not been on that side of YouTube. But this young lady, she does OnlyFans. And there's a guy named Gucci Third Leg. He does OnlyFans as well. They collaborated a couple of months ago or like a year ago or something to that effect. And he gave her herpes. Not only did he give her herpes, he was out here spreading the love. He might have given her herpes. He might have given a few other people herpes. And she finally came out 
and exposed them. Do I feel sorry for her? Yes and no. In order for me for in order for me to really like explain why I don't feel sorry for her in a way, I'd have to react to the video so you can see what she said. Because in the video, she was talking about how good the money was. So you risked your health for money. Money isn't everything. You're a beautiful woman. It's a lot of things you can do besides risk your health for money. Now, at the same time, we have to hold Gucci third leg. I, I, I feel bad. I, I can't keep calling this Gucci third leg. That 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 is unsettling my spirit. Um... We have to hold Mr. Leg. That that sound gay too. Of all the names you can have, brother. Huh? But we have to hold this man accountable. Because when you have them type of when you have a situation like that going on, you're supposed to let people know. Before you become physical with them, you're supposed to let people know. So you knowingly gave this woman a virus that she cannot get rid of. That's foul. Hey, I know. You just hit someone's car, keeps driving. Man, somebody rear-ended me and I couldn't stop. You had multiple times. I was hitting my you brakes. Hit you car. hit another car. You hit another car. You hit four cars. Listen to me. I, somebody rear-ended me I couldn't stop. You I was hitting my brake and I wouldn't. If somebody hits you in the back, the momentum of their car is going to take your car. And it does not matter how hard you hit your brakes, okay? Especially if it's a situation where you're semi-close to the person in front of you. This has happened to me before. In a similar situation, oh my God. Ooh! I love it when, like... Stop! How are you going... I love it when stuff come together. And you move on. Would you, you listen to me? Down plenty of time. I, I I'm going to tell you the story right away. 2013, we used to live in Griffin. I used to work at this place called Facet. Eventually, Danae got a job at the CDC, so we had to move to the city. I still worked at Facet. Facet is in McDonough, for people who are familiar with the Atlanta area. Facet is in McDonough. We lived on Piedmont. That drive to McDonough was about an hour because of traffic. For some strange reason, there's always traffic at the same spot. And the way that traffic happened, it, it sneaks up on you, okay? The traffic always sneaks up on you. So, I'm driving. Traffic is coming. I start slowing down. The car behind me starts slowing down. It was a lady in a Lexus Jeep. Brand new white Lexus Jeep. Rare ends the car behind me. She had to have been going about 80 or 90. I don't, she was going fast. She hits the car behind me. He hits me. I, mind you, this is when I had my Jeep. This is an old ass Jeep. He hits me. And I hit the car in front of me. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. The car in front of me didn't even get damaged. I just hit her. The lady... And the Lexus was crying because she knows it's over. Her insurance got to pay for all that. This is a four-car collision. Her insurance got to pay for all that. So I know she just, Woo! she's out there screaming and bawling and all that. The dude, the dude behind me was some African guy. He was he was cool, you know. He probably knows some type of scheme. He was finna get it. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all know how them, them Nigerians do. I think he was Nigerian, so he already knew it was up. The that I hit, that I, my car got forced into. Is sitting there bothering me for my insurance information. And I'm like, hey, you got to get her insurance. She hit all of us. She like, no, no, you hit me. I'm like, she hit him. He hit me. I hit you. Honestly, you shouldn't even be here because your car ain't even damaged like that. Come to find out she was renting a car. So she called the people that she was renting and they got to talking. And she got like, she was just being ignorant, gang. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I wanted to smack the shit out of this bitch. Because the way she was talking to me, in my mind, I'm already like, I'm finna get fired. Because, like, you know, I ain't really care about the job like that. But at the same time, like, I ain't no bum ass. I gotta have money coming in, you feel me? So, in my mind, I'm like, damn, I'm finna get fired. Like, I'd have been coming late. This about to be the last straw. She going in, bro. Finally, the police come. And she talking to the police like, oh, he don't want to give me his information, his insurance information. The police was like, I handle that. I'll take care of that. Don't worry about all that. Whatever, whatever. Right? Police took down my information, took down everybody's information. When we finally get the report, of course, it was the lady's fault. So her insurance had to cover everything. The African dude know that. 
I mean, the police knew that too, because when Shorty said the shit to him, he was just looking at her like, okay, I'll handle it. Son, I dislike stupid people. Here's the craziest thing. And now that I think about it, I don't know if maybe she was trying to plot on some, some type of insurance scheme, right? But actually, I don't, I don't know. I think she was on her phone. I ended up giving her so much space. That's how I knew Shorty was going fast as hell in order for me to like even tap the car the way I tapped the car, bro. Because I ended up giving Shorty in front of me a whole bunch of space because I'm guessing she was on her phone and, you know, she'll look up and see that traffic is about to slow down. So she'll just slam on brakes. So I noticed that from jump. So I gave her ample space. And the fact that that Lexus Jeep was able to push the the... I think homie had a a Toyota Camry, was able to push that Camry into my Jeep and able to push my Jeep into her car. I know she was going fast as hell. Her Jeep was total too. Like it was it was bad. I'm surprised she walked up out of that without like no problems. I'm surprised the African dude walked up out of that with no problems. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure when he filed that uh insurance claim it was a lot of problems. But yeah.